Now this might feel boring, but I have to run the Y Cruncher 1 billion yet again on the Core i9-7900X as uh, when the new version of the Benchmade software along with newer version of the Y Cruncher test itself, I think the test has got a lot faster, so the old results aren't good enough anymore my 19 point something is now like rank 3 or rank 4 or rank 5 the best one is like 17.8 seconds, so uh, I want to quickly see what kind of number I can get out of this system right now so the CPU 7900X T-Rex container, the latest revision, using the pink thermal paste as I'm running very low on KPX, EVGA X299 Dark of course, it's a simple uh, Samsung solid state drive, I'm not using M.2 whatsoever, Galaxy 710 GT for the monitor, signal with capture card of course, and uh, four sticks of dual rank Samsung B-Dive 4266 Cas17 uh, Riptors 5, and I'm actually using the Seasonic Prime 1300 Platinum once again and just keeping cooling heater plate on the backside, not the Elmer Labs one so uh, yeah, should be pretty simple I, al I already have most of the settings uh, ready in the BIOS so it's version 1.29 BIOS so let's see what happens I'll start at relatively lower speeds and just work my way up but the biggest highlight is on the memory so let's see what happens Okay, some issues with memory, let's try, the memory amount is actually a bit on the limit at the moment, but I just want to try this first, see what happens. So CPU should be at relatively easy setting. Okay, some of the cores are already hitting very high numbers as expected. Fifties, what the heck? So we are already at almost rank one. So that's a good sign. But I want to get the memory higher because that's the thing that really gives the performance. This should be still relatively easy. So I think this will give us the rank 1 score, but I, of course I will uh, try more. I will not uh, just end the testing here. to glaze the container yeah that's the new rank one just few attempts and we got it it's the previous rank one score by the French guy was 17.8 something 17.858 so yeah, it's pretty annoying when you have to rebench something just because of software changes. It has happened many times in the, uh, in the history or in the past with uh, especially something like GPU Pi, 1 billion, other tests as well. There was something with uh, Geekbench 3 with different versions, etc. So it's the same uh, stick on every single uh, slot. Four, five, seven. Same on every single one. Okay, now I will just try to improve the memory from BIOS, not base clock. Okay, we are getting better. Only fail, but we can try.
So 17, 3, 3, 6, quite big improvement if you ask me. So like that's over half a second faster already than the previous rank one score by the French guy. But I still want to get higher on the memory. I probably had some, uh, just some weird memory related issues. I need to figure out what's going on. So five, well, technically five free under load. So uh, four gigahertz, there shouldn't be a negative offset on the mesh. So it should be four gigahertz during the actual uh, run and just uh, five free on the core itself. I don't think there's any more headroom remaining on the core itself based on my earlier testing. So now I'll try to get the memories up to 3800 plus. So I'll try in the bows first. That's very bad probably because it's probably the drive if you need very fast like SSD M.2 for this test, don't know. It's actually the fastest 7-zip for this CPU. So probably not that bad, but still, of course, it cannot do the fastest run in 10 core category, which is held by some of the newer platforms. Okay, 120. But yeah, no chance. The rank one is, I think it was Splave at 139,000 with 12600K AV, which has AVX. I actually don't know if it's because of AVX 512, no idea. This, this CPU should be able to do like 596 gigahertz, but need higher voltage for that one. So that should give like, well, under 130,000. Okay, so I managed to get the new uh, record score in white runs of 1 billion in the 10 core category relatively easy. So just uh, one or two runs, I got it for the first time. I have a few uh, decent runs, but I will probably want to save them for now as backups because I don't know what the other guys are running. So uh, for some reason I actually corrupted the operating system uh, quite fast. And this is not actually the first time with this uh, particular uh, Samsung SSD. So I don't know if there's some uh, safety feature built in that SSD or something that why does it get so corrupted easily or like corrupted so easily many times when I run memories very high. So I need to take that into account and not use that SSD if I run something else, like for example, 12900K and very high memories for white runs or 1 billion. So need to see about that. But yeah, so uh, maybe this is yet again, the last record for EVGA X299 Dark. Don't know, but uh, it's, actually, it's actually pretty fun to run this system as long as it works. So uh, <clears throat> I got the memories up to 3900. I think 4000 is possible if you have very good IMC. So far it has been very very hard. I did 4000 once with the 7920X, but yeah you need a very good IMC to be able to run 4000. I don't know how this board compares to the other boards, but usually the difference between the motherboard models isn't very high at least if you ask me comp when comparing the highest end motherboard models from other vendors. But yeah, so the new top score will be uploaded to hardwarebot.org at the time of uh, at the time you are watching this video, so definitely check out the score if you are interested in this whole run. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching some EVGA overclocking content once again and I will see you on the next one.